Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel, Fern Valley Farm. My name is Vince, and on this pure channel, we are pure country. All right, on to the next step of the building here, my honey barn that I'm building. <clears throat> the insulation for the ceiling. The main reason for this insulation is it's a moisture barrier. If you have a metal, if you have a metal, a metal building, um, pro rib, you know, if you don't insulate the roof, it's going to condensate. Up here in the north, we get, you know, obviously snow and freezing temperatures and frost and ice and everything else. Well, when it freezes, the metal will freeze. Well, when it thaws, it drips. Now, if you, I'm going to show you in here really quick. This building right here. This is my indoor. This is my arena. Uh, you can see all the obviously the whole metal ceiling. Well, none of that is insulated. So in the spring, you get a warm day. It's like it's raining in here for like a half hour because all that metal thaws and all that water drips. So if somebody, which this is way too big to, I mean, if you have lots and lots of money, you can insulate a ceiling like that. Um, so, <laughs> but I don't. And I didn't build this building. But these smaller barns, these smaller buildings, it's a little bit more economical to put the to put the insulation on. Plus, you want to protect your stuff. Like my shop, my shop over here, um, I've showed you that in that video, that's all insulated. So it's nice. In the spring, nothing drips. You got your tools, all your equipment, nothing's gonna get wet. And this and here, my arena is just sand, it's just a sand floor, so the water will drip on it. If the horses are in there, they'll get dripped on, but it's not a big deal. It, it, it doesn't last long, and of course, it hits the sand. Um, but like in here, where all my honey-making equipment or my shop or all my tools, you want water dripping everywhere. Uh, and you, it just makes a mess. You want, and if you want to insulate it just a little bit, which this barn is going to be a little bit more insulated than my shop will be, just because of all the equipment that's going to be in there at, at, at some point in time. So yeah, putting your, putting your foam insulation prevents moisture, prevents condensation. That's the whole point of this. This is just half inch insulation. The way that what you want to put this down with, and this works out really nice, is these little plastic caps. See these? They come in different colors. They come in different lengths. Um, I've got a couple of boxes left over. I've got some blue ones. I've got some orange ones that are a little bit shorter. I've got like, you can see the difference here. That one's like an inch or an inch and a quarter. This one's maybe an inch. It's only half inch, half inch insulation, so it goes through it no problem. And you don't need a hole. You might want to put four on each rib, and it holds it right down. I'm going to put one sheet up here to get this thing started, and I'll move the camera around, and I'll show you when I keep going. But I'm going to show you how I put one sheet of this up. I've got 13 sheets. This should finish it. Five sheets, five full sheets, and then foot and a half pieces up on the top to reach the peak. And then the end here. The end is going to be one foot short. So I got one piece extra for the end to cut one foot strip. It's only a 21 foot. It's only a 21 foot. The building's only 21 feet. So obviously if you go four by eight. So I'm going to put the one sheet up here and show you. What's nice about working with this stuff is it's so light. But if it's really windy, you got to be careful. The wind will grab it and pull it. And one little tip I'm going to give you when you're doing something like this. My building is pretty much right on. It might be about a half inch off. If you're off, it's going to come. You're going to know when you get to the end. It's going to be out of square. If it's out of square, you're going to know it. If you're really out of square, you're really going to know when you come to the end. You might start right here, put your first four by eight sheet, and keep going. 
you get down to the end, you might have six inches over here, one inch at the bottom. So one little thing that I've learned, the back, nobody is going to see, obviously. So when you start doing something like this, start with the front and go back. So put your first sheet up here and work your way that way. So if you are off in the back, obviously you're going to cut it off. Well, no one's going to see it in the back. So just cut it. So just work. So start from the front where it's perfectly square and work your way back. So if you're off, whether it's six inches, eight inches, a foot, which if you're off a foot, you really screwed up. <laughs> if you're off a half inch, inch, whatever it is, then you can just cut it up. But, but start from the front and work your way to the back. This way nobody will see the mistakes. This building, I believe, is only about a half inch off. It's, I mean, I've got it pretty much right on here. Again, trying to do it by myself is kind of hard. It's nice when you got two people. Uh, but I pretty much got it. It took a while. That was a, that was a few videos ago. So I'm going to stop. All I'm going to do is put this first sheet on, and I'll cut the camera, and I'll show you after I get a few more sheets up. All right, let me get this up. Yeah, this stuff is so nice to work with. It's so light. I love it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put one nail or one plastic cap at the end to hold it. I'm not going to I'm not going to push it all the way. I'm not going to drive it all the way in. I'm just going to put it in. Just push it through your foam. I'm just going to tack it in. If you see in that last video, if you see in that last video when I was talking about where I put that over here, that last pearl, you see how that sheet of you see how that sheet's right dead center in the middle? That's why you want it. There's your center, there's your center nailer right there. This ladder over here. Right on the money. Look at that. Beautiful. Once you get it on and square and straight, then you can go ahead and nail it down. I just like to pop the caps in. I'll probably put three. I'll put three caps down each, purling. I brought it off up here with me. And be kind of careful when you're nailing these down. And I hit a nail. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to hit them very hard. They've been really easy. I'm not going to drive these all the way in. I've learned, seems like whenever I'm building something, until I know I'm right on the money, 
I don't nail it all the way in. If it never fails, you've got to wind up pulling the nails out. Ask me how I know. I always say that. You'll learn from your mistakes. So before I hammer these all the way in, I'm going to make sure I'm right on. I mean, if you, if you have to pop them out, it's not that big of a deal. So, yeah, that's it. All right, I'm going to get a few more sheets up, and I will be back to show you guys how far I've gotten.